We did it. A thousand subscribers. The big 1K. It's kind of unbelievable that I ever got here. It's unbelievable that I didn't just quit doing this yet. I'm as surprised as you are. Of course I said that when I hit a thousand subscribers I would do a Q&A, and out of all 1,000 of you, two people left questions. I, I can't count on you people for anything. I've, I've had a Twitter for like months now. I have seven followers. The fuck, guys? Anyway, let's answer those two questions. Hey, just real quick before we begin here, I'd like to shout out my friend Movie Magical who had me, as well as fellow small-time YouTuber uh, Tim, the 8-Bit Misfit, on his show to uh, uh, riff on the Super Mario Bros. movie. So if you want to see me riff the Super Mario Bros. movie with some other YouTubers, there you go. It's Which side does the card come in? I think it's this side, actually. No, it's this side. This side? Let me know in the comments. Lino asks, If you could only watch five bad movies for the rest of your life, what would they be? Also, that Cats trailer, huh? That's gonna date this video. I guess it would depend on how broad you want to make the term bad movies, because uh, something like Roadhouse, it's not like a good movie, but I like genuinely enjoy it, not in like a so bad it's good way, like in a I genuinely actually like this kind of way. So for counting Roadhouse, Roadhouse would be one of those five, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say definitely my favorite, Creeping Terror, which I'm working on a video for right now, uh, as well as Cool Cat Saves the Kids, although I have that one practically memorized, so that might be <laughs> not worth it. Gotta have Miami Connection. Love Miami Connection. Um, I'm gonna go Troll 2, because that movie is just so fucking bizarre. I love watching people's faces the first time they see it. Ooh, that fifth one, though. Mmm. I think I'm gonna go with The Room. Maybe Birdemic, but I, I, I'm i thinking The Room's gotta be that fifth one. As far as the Cats trailer, I was never going to be interested in a Cats movie in the year 2019, especially one that decided to replace, like, the physical costumes with horrifying CG. It, it's like you missed the point. What was so great about Cats? was the really cool, weird costumes everyone had on, and you just made it like these horrifying CG abominations. It does help reconcile my emotions about Taylor Swift, because I, I like, see Taylor Swift with my eyes, and I go, ah, yes, that is an attractive woman, and then she does anything, and I immediately go, wow, I do not like this person. So now, like, she looks as horrifying as she acts. The other question was, Is Bad the Bully canonically gay? No, but the guy who plays him is... Ayo! Paul, the person who asked this question, is the guy that plays Bad the Bully. That's the joke. Now that's over with, I'm just gonna make fun of your terrible comments again. Here's a wild one that says, too bad Elvis me movies like that he was really a good actor, King Creole, Wild in the Country, Jailhouse Rock, Kid Galahad, Loving You All Showed Elvis Could Act, These Movies Did Not Do Them Any Justice, Harem Scarum, Kissing Cousins, Speedway, Easy Come, Easy Go, Paradise, Hawaiian Style, That's Not Really the Elvis People Remember, Elvis Was the Best at Playing, Rebel, He Showed That in King Creole and Kid Galahad and Jailhouse Rock, Anyhow, He Has So Much Charisma and Talent, Even in the Cheesiest Movies, Elvis could get over cause it's talent and charisma overshadowed everyone else if he got the script like Marlon Brando and Paul Newman on the most part. He would have been as big as them, even bigger. He was just as talented and charismatic as both of them, but even though he made it a lot of bad movies like this, he still had his appeal in... has appeal in the box office. <laughs> okay, so... I, I have 
I have my doubts that the person who posted this uh, speaks English as a first language. Um, if they do speak English as a first language, dude, punctuation, holy shit. Like, I think I get what they're getting at, just that, like, Elvis was a good actor and there were a lot of movies that really didn't showcase that. But he says that in, like, a thousand words and never stops to breathe. Isaac Craig says, thanks for your... You're welcome. One person asks, what state do you live in? Solid. What the fuck type of question is this? Who just asks what state someone lives in? This wasn't even on the Q&A, by the way. This was just a random question on a random, unrelated video. Tom the Pussycat Gundam Enthusiast says, You're a liberal. What, what do I even respond to this with? You just said I had a political ideology. Like, if this was a true statement, it wouldn't offend me. It'd just be true. And if it wasn't meant to offend me, then you're just... saying a thing? What? I suspect this kid is like... 11, 12, just found 4chan, trying to be edgy online, but, uh... He's like 11 or 12. Chris is good old mixy boy, always commenting on my posts. I, I swear, he has to be trolling. Like, I made fun of some people in the last comments video for comparing me to Phalus, and ever since then, any time I post something that has been reviewed by someone else on YouTube, he just compares my review to that review. Is this trolling, or is he just... What's going on here? This, this is trolling, right? Of course, it's not all silly nonsense. I would like to take the time to address some genuine criticisms people have had of my videos. Uh, here's a comment from my video, Is Daredevil Satanic? This gentleman says, You should watch the director's cut before calling the director clueless. Producer Gary Foster literally admitted that they cut out intellectual content in favor of a quick-paced popcorn action flick. More character development, an actual story, a meaningful love romance, and more violent and visceral action scenes, characters to do things that make sense, etc. Uh, to start with, I think you misunderstood me. I didn't mean the director was just some clueless guy who didn't know how to make a movie. I more meant he was clueless to the implications of the imagery in that movie. Um, also, I've seen the director's cut, and it's just the same movie, but with a worse pace. Like, I prefer the dumb, fast-paced cut. Because they're both bad, I'd rather watch the faster one. Of course, that guy, maybe he had a point. This guy, this is just crazy criticism right here. Hey, X-Men 2 was awesome. Take your nostalgia goggles off, man. That movie was terrible. It is so absolutely heavy-handed with what it is trying to do. It's borderline comedic. Here's a really cool comment that says, This is great, and I play Cool Cat. Funny stuff. That, that is a comment from Jason Johnson, who played Cool Cat in Cool Cat Saves the Kids. He was in an interview recently where he admits that he commented on a lot of these videos. This seems to be legit. I, I think this is the actual Jason Johnson commenting on my video. Which makes me very, very happy. He also says in this comment, uh, Derek and I have had a falling out. My days of Cool Cat are done, or until I get a good paycheck to do it again. So, if this is to be believed, and to be fair, this comment is from months ago by now, uh, Jason Johnson is done playing Cool Cat. That said, Derek claims to have a new Cool Cat short right around the corner. So, maybe he just gave Johnson the money he wanted, or maybe we're going to see a new cool cat. I don't know, if Jason Johnson gets replaced, you heard it here first. Okay, so I, I recorded this video like three days ago, and now he has uploaded the video, or the, the new cool cat short, and... Whew. Hey kids, it's me, Cool Cat, and I got a great story to tell you. It's about a dream I had. It's worse than I thought. Like, it's worse than I could have imagined. 
He's just playing the character himself. It's clearly just Derek. Do I need to review this? Or, or can I wait till he puts it in his next movie and then just review his next movie? But I don't just get great comments from the people underneath my videos. Sometimes I get messages from my friends about the videos I make. In this one, my friend James texted me, Ginger Dead Man 2 was so disgusting I had to stop watching it while I was eating. Which is just a comment I love to get about a movie I reviewed. After I dropped my first Dingo Pictures video, my friend Logston said, Holy sweet jumping Jesus on a breadstick, I've never heard of any of this. So, you know, I had to save that quote. If there were like a DVD of my shit, that'd be the pull quote on the back. And I would like to end this video with one of my favorite things I've found. Not a comment, just something I've found browsing the analytics for my channel. One month, one of the search terms that led people to my channel was... Married with Children is Best Anime. First, first off, to start with, who's searching for Married with Children is the best anime? And second, how did that lead them to my channel? I've never talked about Married with Children or anime. Whatever, it's it's there, it's here now. I, married with Children is best anime. That's just the best anime now. I can't argue with that. But seriously, massive thanks to all 1,000 of you for subscribing, for watching my videos, for liking and leaving good comments. <laughs> Not all of them are bad. There's a lot of comments I really enjoy getting. Um... And, uh, I guess I'll get to work on that Creeping Terror video. I've got at least one video coming out before that. So, be prepared. And until next time, I'm Matt, and I hope you have a very nice day.